hey guys welcome back so guys in this video you are going to learn how to enable or disable the users account which is over here so this authentication firebase data who have registered over here that account we are going to enable or disable so guys let's get started so first let's move to our user list.php file okay so user list.php file and over here let's create one column in the table called disable or enable okay let's give one td tag table data and now inside this let's use php open php close with if condition if it's a success means you have to show else you should show enable so first let's copy this variable called user so if the user is disabled so let's show go to a doc at user management you have to select with this disable copy this so if condition works with the true if this is true then it will show as echo disabled dis and echo enabled save and now let's try to see the output guys let's refresh cool so enable or disable it's right now it's enabled guys so guys now let's make to disable this accounts so let's click on this edit button and move to user edit list.php so when we click on this edit button you're moving with the id as you can see so let me just show you that edit button it's over here so this is the edit button which we are seeing with the user id we are taking and going to user edit.php file as simple and now we are going to create a simple form guys over here so let me just make opposite to this so this is my column md6 and after this column md6 i want to create that so let's column md6 card card body before that we'll give it card header where enable or disable user account let's start with the form tag form so simple form we are going to create that will be let's move to our getbootstrap.com go to doc and select with input group so let me copy with this let's take the second option copy and paste inside this form let's align this minimize as simple guys we don't require all this input tags we'll remove this input and make a select option so this will be the class which will be form hyphen control and we'll give a option option will give select give required copy make this to disable and paste here disable then en able enable en able enable as simple now guys let's make this form method is equal to post and when we submit on this let's go to code.php so now let's create a button let's make this span to button and give the type is equal to submit and name is equal to enable 
disable user account okay so this is the button name let's remove this extra things add button button primary and tell submit done now let's see the output guys let's come here refresh perfect so enable or disable the thing okay so now let's select with the disable and when we submit on this it should go to code.php and disable the account so right where it is so right now it's enabled these two accounts we want to disable that so let's go back and move to code.php so let's go over here let's use if condition to check if help of is set function we are taking and then checking the button is clicked or not so what button is that enable or disable user account button if it is clicked then you have to come inside this so let's take create a variable called disabled or enabled enable dollar underscore post method so whatever the value comes over here what value are going to take this name let's type that so select enable or disable copy this and move to code.php and paste here so whatever the data you are selecting from this you will get that and come over here and store in this variable as simple guys now you need to create a if condition to check it is enabled or disabled so let's type over here this disable or enable is double equal to which this value if it is disabled so if it is clicked on disabled he should disable the account else another no option it should enable only so that time you need to enable that so for that code guys you need to send uh, let's go to a doc and click on enable or disable okay so let's copy this copy and paste so guys to disable the user account you need the user id so let's take this user id and call this outside over here and now let's get that user id from our input box so when you go on edit we need the user id also so in the input box input type we are going to make hidden and from where are you going to get in the value we are going to get using get so as you click on this edit button you can see that id is this let's get this id copy this and call over here dollar underscore get method inside this id so if it is there means it will come or else it will not come so guys we have got the id right that get user id so what in case if the id is not there so for that in that case we will validate this first so open php and close php if with is set function you are going to check that dollar underscore get method if the id is present or not in your url that is parameter if the id is not present that time you are going to use else condition and echo that no user id found okay so let's pass over here variable user id dollar underscore get method id and you store that id now what in case the user id is wrong so at that time you need to just use one simple thing get information about specific user use this try catch and paste below this as simple let's remove all this and send the user id inside this uid dollar user id if it's correct then it will come over here so guys now let's close php and open php let's remove let's take out this 
control x and paste after this input form done let's clear this spaces everything is working fine so this user id you can directly paste or else you can use this get method only paste this done so now let's get back let's refresh cool so now let's try to disable the account guys so let's give this name value name is equal to the enable disable we'll keep shortcut ena disable user id let's take this and send to code.php file let's go back and we are on this as simple using the post method dollar underscore post where inside single quotes we will send this done now you got the user id so with this help of user id you are going to disable or enable the account so let's call that again for enabling over here let's select this copy paste now user id sent for this also to enable and after this guys we need to check that if it is success or not so let's copy from the below to check the condition is success or not let's copy this and paste done let's take this variable update user and send inside this so guys we need one message over here if it is disabled or enabled so in that case we will create one variable called dollar msg message and pass this variable inside this if condition over here we'll write account disabled copy and for this account enabled save and this message will go over here or else we'll tell something went wrong as simple save and go back to which page user list.php simple so guys now let us test this first let's get back okay refresh the page let's try to disable the account of om prakash so let's click submit okay account disabled we got the message and account is disabled perfect cool guys so we have successfully disabled the account over here so let's see what's the difference in this or else it's showing the account over here cool so you can see guys that account is disabled over here as you have disabled from this side so guys now let's try to enable this once again so let's click on edit and let's select with the enable option let's submit now cool so account enabled you can see the status is enabled over here and let's try to see in our firebase authentication let's try to access and make that enabled refresh enable cool so you can see guys that account is enabled again so guys in this video that's it and let's see next video with the new topic thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share